Hello my friends, it is Lisa from Grateful Me and it is Friday. We all love Fridays. After long weeks, we're so excited for the weekend. And I am so excited for the weekend. I have so many wonderful things happening in my life. First of all, we are celebrating my daughter-in-law's birthday. So happy birthday, Kenley. She's married to my oldest son and she is a mother of two of my grandbabies and she is just the nicest, kindest, sweetest, beautiful daughter-in-law. So I just wanted to wish her a happy birthday. Secondly, we're blessing our little grandbaby on Sunday. And so we're gonna have a huge family get together. And then it is my niece's birthday. So look at all the fun family stuff that we have going on. Well, with all that excitement um, ahead of me, I want to get down to business and take care of some sinking funds. So I think let's start this first binder. So a few, well, not this Friday, of course, but last Friday I was supposed to do a video and the day got away with me and I was going to go ahead and stuff the money from my mini honey bee savings challenge. This challenge, it was worth $115 and I designated all the money from this challenge to go into this pink binder. Now this pink binder is adorable. I got it off of Amazon and it has some really fun envelopes in it. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know what? I kind of need something to hold this down. Maybe it will just stay, maybe not, we'll see. Anyways, there's a few envelopes in here. So I'm going to go ahead and just randomly place money in these. Now I have this binder right here. I mean this envelope, this is kids. This is actually for my oldest, I mean my, my youngest son and it's just his little envelope. So I'm gonna put the money in there because my grandkids already have their own. Shopping, I'm going to put 15 in and I'm gonna take 20 out. And so shopping, well, sorry, we'll have a total of 25. I've only stuffed this binder one other time and so it really doesn't have that much money in it. Beauty will be getting five, so Beauty will have a total of 10. Pets, this is for my cute little doggy, and I'm going to go ahead and put, let's see, how much money is in here? I'm gonna take out six and put in 10. So pets now will have a total of $10. The next envelope is food. Now this is for me and my family to save up money and stock up on food. It's not part of my monthly budget. It's not part of my food month ahead. It is just there for us to go ahead and stock up a couple times. We do this a couple times a year. So there's $40 that will be inside that. And once this one gets to be at least $500, then I'll go ahead and do that. Miscellaneous today, this envelope is an envelope I feel like everybody should have because this is that envelope for all those things that you didn't prepare for that pop up in life. So it had 20 in it and I'm gonna add six, so there will be a total of $26. Well, everyone, if you are new to my channel, thank you for stopping by and I hope that you enjoy your time here. On my channel, we are full of gratitude. We are grateful for everything and then we work on our money. <laughs> my money journey basically consists of sinking funds and savings challenges. And if this is something you'd like, I hope that you would subscribe. And my returning subscribers, would you please like, hit the like button and leave a comment. It sure helps me on my little YouTube channel. Well, let's move along. The next envelope is household. And this envelope has $15 in it. And I'm going to take the 15 out and I'm going to put in a 20. So it was like adding $5. Next is health. This is my medical envelope. And in this envelope, this is probably the most important envelope for me. I had this one in my long-term um, binder. However, I use money goes in and out of this envelope so often that I decided to take it out of there. But it is still so important that I stuff it. This binder is kind of one of those where every money goes in and out. I'm going to add 40 to this, so there will be a total of 20, 40, 60, 80, $100. And 
for this envelope, I really go through thousands and thousands of dollars because of my little diabetics. Well, they're not little, my grown diabetics. All right, essentials. This is for things that we just need around our house and it is going to get the last remaining $15. So that takes care of that envelope and I am so grateful that I was able to complete this mini honeybee savings challenge. This challenge can be found on the, our mine and my daughter-in-law's Etsy shop. It has two other challenges that come with it and it's just the perfect amount. So that's how I use my savings challenges. All right, let's move along to my grandbaby's binder. I stuff this off air a lot, <laughs> and every now and then I do it on camera. So basically, I have six grandchildren, and I have one being born this week, this coming week. So I have a total of seven grandbabies. They are the love of my life. They make me smile, they bring me joy, and they are just priceless gifts. So each of them get money in their envelopes. They each get the dollar amount um, for as old as they are. And by the time they're 18 years old, they'll get all this money from grandma and grandpa along with love notes. So Malachi's our oldest, he gets $3. Because sometimes people are wondering why I do different amounts. Well, I just do, if I do their age, it will all add up to being the same amount of money they will all get that when they graduate. Okay, so Noah's gonna get $2, and these envelopes are getting nice and thick. I probably need to do a um, bill exchange with them. It's amazing how a couple dollars, or just a dollar add up. Elijah's one, and he's going to get a dollar. And then the rest of my grandbabies, all the rest right here, they are not even one, they're just a few months old, but they're gonna get a dollar. So Leo will get a dollar. I got to babysit Leo and Elijah and Noah and Kahlua yesterday, and Grandma's house was super fun. It was a little wild and crazy. So there's Kahlua, here's Malia's, and she's going to get her dollar. And then our cute little Mila, she is going to be born and she will be here next week. And oh my gosh, I can't wait to see what she looks like. Alrighty, so there's the grandbaby's binder. Now let's go to my home improvement binder. And this binder is actually gonna get two savings challenges. So I finished my spring savings challenge and it, there's $150 in there. And then here is my April savings challenge. So this is a seasonal challenge, this is a monthly challenge. And then here is my money that I need to put for my Etsy shop for this week into my taxes. And I'm gonna hurry and do that first. So I'm gonna do this, and I'm not gonna count this, but there's, I think there's like eight or $900 in this Etsy envelope. Okay, let's pull out this money. Let's stuff, well, let's get it all out. And let's add this money to these envelopes. Now, there's one area of focus that I really wanna work on. I want to work on my couch fund because the basement, all it needs left is trim and then it is time to decorate and get some furniture. So the first thing I think I'd like to get is a couch. So in my appliances, let's see. Ooh, all this money. You know, let's count it really quick. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 210, 215, 220, 225. So appliances, appliances. Oh, I'm gonna turn it this way. Okay. Appliances are going to get $20. And so there will be a total of 20, 40, 50, 60, 65. So that's not a bad start. We wanna get a um, microwave downstairs and a fridge, and it's just gonna be, 
We were thinking about doing a full kitchenette, but I think we're just going to go ahead and do like a snack uh, section for now. Okay, chairs. I'm going to do $10 for chairs. And put that, oh, let's count how much money that is. So with this new 10 that I'm putting in, chairs will have 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. 50 dollars. Well, we can't even buy one chair yet, but hey, it's a start and every dollar counts. Um, sometimes sinking funds can be a little frustrating when you want them to grow faster. But just always remember that they are there and little by little will add up and before really you know it, you'll accomplish your goal. I'm going to come back to couch. I'm going to stuff everything else and then I'll do couch. So decor, decor is going to get $5. So there's 20, 25 and $30. Look how cute that tracker is. It's adorable. You can find those on our Etsy shop also. Oh, I, before I forget, everybody, there is going to be a new launch on the shop May 2nd, and there's going to be a lot of new products. So we hope that you come and, and visit. Okay, flooring. I think I'm going to do 10 in flooring. So there's 5 in 10. So flooring will have a total of 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Forty dollars. That's pretty awesome. Okay, washer and dryer. What do I have in here? Okay, I think I can give washer and dryer twenty. I think that's only fair for a washer and dryer. So far, my washer and dryer are holding on. 20, 40, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. We have a very old set of washer and dryers, but sometimes I don't know if they make them like they used to. I mean, this thing has lasted forever. Okay, let's revisit the couch section and count how much. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60. So 160 is going to go into our couch fund. And let's see how much is in there already. Let's get all the money out and put this back here. Okay, let's give it a count. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 220, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 226 dollars in my new couch fund. I was so tempted today, Way Wayfair had a, up to 80% off sale on some couches. Thank goodness someone I, wasn't, I wanted wasn't on sale or I would have been tempted to buy it. But if I would have, I would have had to put it on a credit card. So I decided not to. I decided to be smart and I decided to use my sinking funds the way that they're meant to be used. Here a little, there a little, save for what you want. Well, everyone, I just appreciate you so much. I'm so grateful for you. And I hope you have a fabulous week. I hope you have some time to stuff some of your sinking funds this weekend and show them a little love. Well, on Monday, it will be our mini savings challenge day, which is one of our favorites. So I will see you then. Until then, bye.